Welcome to week two with art with Miss Chris. Um, we're gonna really, really go in a different direction this week. And we're going to look at, look at an artist named Picasso. One of my most favorite artists. Um, he is considered the best artist of the 20th century. So I want to give you a little background before we get started. Picasso was a painter, a sculptor, a printmaker, he made ceramics, he even did stage design. He was born in Spain in 1881, and he lived 91 years and passed in 1973. Um, he was, his first word when he was a little kid was pencil. His father taught him how to create art. He was a very, he, the one thing, his art, when you look at it, it may seem strange, but the beauty of Picasso is that he experimented with his art. He made, he took risks. He was an innovator. And the thing about Picasso that's also really awesome is that he wasn't just one type of artist. He had many different periods of time where he created different types of art. He had a blue period where he created mostly blues and purple and dark colors. He had a rose period where his um, colors turned into rose colors such as red and magentas. Then he became a cubist where he started breaking up his art into different shapes. He actually was the father of cubism um, along with another artist um, and he became very famous in this stage of his life. And he ended his life with the classical period where he came back to more classical pieces and traditional roots. So let's start. We're going to make a very different project today. It's going to be a face, but it's not gonna be like a face you've made before, unless you've done a Picasso face before. We're gonna have eyes um, in different directions, noses. Um, we're going to look at a face in multiple viewpoints. We're really gonna work with line and color and design today. So let's get started on this Picasso piece. So here we go. The first thing what you're gonna need today is a pencil. You will need a black Sharpie. Always have a pencil sharpener handy. And some type of markers. Um, these are just basic Crayola markers. Um, my favorite markers really are Sharpie markers. Those are really wonderful markers, but I have these handy, so I'm gonna have these. All right, so we're gonna get started with a pencil, and oops, I need to blow this pencil shavings off. There we go. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is the outside, kind of the framework of our art. So I'm gonna start right here at the top of my piece, and I am going to make a line that comes out, it's going to start like in the middle, kind of towards the middle of the art. It's going to come out and we're going to curve around. We're going to go all the way down, not to the bottom, about right there. And we're going to curve. I'm going to come back to this point. We're going to come around. I'm going to curve. And I'm gonna go back down to here, okay? Believe it or not, this is gonna be part of our design and our face. So now I'm gonna come back to this point and I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna curve down all the way down. I'm gonna go a little bit under this and I'm gonna curve in. I'm gonna come back to this point. I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna come down. And I'm going to come around and end it like that. All right, so believe it or not, here we go. It's gonna be a face, kind of. Right here, I'm going to make a circle. And inside that circle, I'm going to make a circle. All right, let's start with our modern abstracted face. 
we're gonna start with a nose. And this is not a normal nose. There's nothing normal or realistic about Picasso's cubist stage. So I'm gonna come right here, see this little circle with the circle inside? About, about next to it. I'm gonna come out, okay. I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna come across. That's, that's our nose. And inside the nose, I'm gonna put two dots. Those are our nostrils. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make a design. See, this is all about design. And as you're making your art, just know you can always change this. Just because I'm doing directed drawing doesn't mean you have to make it just like mine. So after you're finished, if you wanna go back, erase, and change your design, feel free. All right, so there is our nose area. I'm gonna end it right here. All right, so I am now gonna make my first eye. And I'm gonna make an eye about right here. This eye is going to be a typical eye shape, kind of like an almond. I'm gonna go through that nose a little bit and through. Just realize this is not proportionate to a real face. This is a very weird and abstracted face. I'm gonna create an eye, an eyeball in that eye. All right. I am now gonna come up higher because what Picasso likes to do when he makes faces, he likes to really make the features in different areas. Sometimes there'll be an eyeball looking one way, sometimes there'll be an eye looking straight forward. So we're gonna go above with this eye and this eye is gonna be a different shape. I'm gonna have fun right now. I'm gonna go swing up and down Kind of looks like a wave right there. And then I'm going to come across. Okay. And a ball in the middle. Now I'm basing this drawing off one of his pieces. And the piece is called Big Head. That's the title of the piece by Pablo Picasso. So I'm being inspired by his art right now. Now above this, I'm going to make a crazy eyebrow. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna come over on the other side. I'm gonna come about right here and I'm gonna make a line. This is gonna be a crazy line. It is gonna come through the eyeball, okay? It's gonna come down right here on the side of the nose. It's gonna come down all the way down it's going to curve and it's going to stop right there. Alrighty. Now I'm going to continue that shape. I'm going to come here about right here. I'm going to curve out. I'm going to come around the eye. I'm going to leave a little bit of room right there because I'm actually going to make a, a weird ear shape right there. I'm gonna come out. So here's my weird ear shape. I'm coming under the eye, which makes no sense in real life, right? That's the fun of it. That's the fun of making Picasso art. It makes no sense. And that's, that's why it's fun, because art doesn't have to be perfect, right? It can be crazy and different. That is an ear, believe it or not. All right, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna come up here with a new shape. And I'm gonna have fun with my shapes later. Okay, and here I'm gonna come and direct this through. All right, I actually, I'm gonna erase this. I want this to be a floating shape. Okay. Here we go, let's keep going. So now, um, I just like I had an eyebrow over here, I'm gonna do an eyebrow over here. It's 
could be my eyebrow. Um, and now I'm going to do a lip design and a chin design. And it's going to be, look, it's going to be a side version. So we kind of have a front version of the eye, side version of the nose. Now we're going to come and make a lip design. So I'm going to come right here in the middle of the nostril. I'm going to come out with one lip. I'm going to make this mouth open and down. And there's my chin. Now watch this. This is where I'm going to get a little crazy with it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to curve in, hit that side of the nose, come up. This is going to be my cheek. We're going to hit the side of this eye and come back to the top. Actually, see this area right here? I didn't let I don't like how this looks. So I'm gonna actually erase it. I erase a lot when I make art. Like you have to have an eraser. Alright, I'm gonna make that a little simpler of a curve. I just like the way that looks better artistically. Alright, so now I'm going to do um, another strange shape. Actually, I'm gonna do a big circle shape right now. So this circle shape is gonna be under the, like where the chin is and the lips are open. I'm gonna make a big, a big circle right here. So what is happening with this abstracted piece is now we're creating shapes within shapes, right? And then after we're done drawing, you're going to be putting designs inside these shapes and colors inside these shapes to really make your modern piece. All right, I'm going to make another shape. See this whole area? It's just screaming for a shape right now. So I'm going to come, let's see, let's make a good point right here. I'm going to come start, how about right under the eye? Okay, I'm going to dip down. I'm going to go through the nose. Hit the bottom of the ear, loop around. I'm going to come above the lip. Okay, I'm going to cut through the lip and I'm going to go meet that shape up again. See how I did that? So I started below the eye. I came down, crossed over the nose, hit the ear came through the side of the lip and back around. And now I have so many shapes within shapes. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, nine shapes within one shape. And that's where the real fun begins with when you start adding your designs in here. Okay, so let's end this drawing with a few more things. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come down right here. I'm just going to kind of make a curve and I'm going to meet up with that circle and loop down. I'm going to put a circle inside of here. So we have some repeating of circles in this piece. And I'm going to come right here. Right here. I'm going to do one more shape. I'm going to come down right here and come out. And then I'm going to come over here right here and I'm going to come down and out. And that is going to complete the outline drawing of my Picasso piece. But this is what you want you to do next. So after you have this done, I want you to go back with a black Sharpie and I want you to do some Sharpie work, some outlining. So I'm gonna show you some, one that I've already done and go through it. So here's my drawing. And at this point of the drawing, if you wanna change anything or do something different, feel free. I'm gonna show you one that I already did. Okay, so this is what I did. From that point, I got my black Sharpie and I just spent some time outlining. And I created, remember those shapes right here? I made those solid black, solid black. 
And then inside here, I made that yellow with a black circle. Now, if you can look at these three colors, you're gonna think the three colors that I used are called primary colors. They make all other colors, but I'm just sticking to blue, red, and yellow. That's it. Um, I did add, I had a silver Sharpie in my classroom, so I added some texture. It was running out of ink, actually, so I kind of added some texture in here for fun. So um, I also made the eyebrows solid black. In this area right here, I made a design. So I took the Sharpie right here, and I just, it's so fun. I mean, you this is endless. This is where you just kind of, Take off. I went short, big, short, big, and I just kept going until I worked myself all the way to the top. And that was actually, it's kind of fun. It's kind of freeing. I want this piece of art to be like really free to you, okay? Where you feel like you can just go for it. You don't have to, you know, be so perfect about it, follow rules. Okay, so I added also, I added detail in my eyes. If you can see, I made weird, weird eyelashes. Okay, I put designs through my eyes. I, um, I made designs through that lip area. I found the different shapes and started adding the different designs in. And I didn't really like have a plan um, I did look at his piece um, called Big Head by Pablo Picasso, and I was totally inspired by that piece. But then I just kind of made it my own, and I really enjoyed it. It was really fun to do. And I want you to have fun with this, have fun with color. I mean, I use primary colors, but you can use other colors. Don't get too busy with the color. Just balance the colors throughout the piece um, and enjoy your time with this. I also was inspired by Picasso and I had fun and made another piece too. I'll share that with you. So um, lots of fun. Be inspired by artists. Be inspired by the Picassos, the modern artists, the realistic artists, the photographers. Be inspired by what you like and make art from it. Have a great week. Um, great job on week one. I look forward to seeing week two from you. Take care. Bye.